right, let's go check out the secret the passage. Those lanterns, I'm not the only one who's been down here recently. No, they're still lit. After what, however many hundred years ago they were lit? Oh my gosh, what's that? An old piggy bank. Swell, a dollar. Yes. Oh, this piggy bank looks like it's been here for a long time. Dollar fifty-five. Aw, uh, yeah. Let's uh, let's go and continue that. Oh, what's this? Oh my, I'm ready for this. All right. So we got to make this picture here. I wonder if those tiles are supposed to make a picture. They are. I can tell you exactly which order they're supposed to go in because I've played this game way too many times. Way too many times. Creepies. I love how like this happy music is playing and this is this is for a thing called Creepies Corner. Ooh. Which is actually just a really Simple, easy money puzzle. Just got to, oh shoot. The hardest part is getting all the trees and branches and tombstones and stuff lined up. But even then, it's not that hard. So that's the nice thing. Right, let's move this up here. We gotta have this uh, pillar actually can go right there with the pillar. No, it's gotta go like this, and that can go right there. This tree part can go, actually not there, but... Right down there. And this tree part, sorry, can go here like that. This tree can go there. This can go there. And this can go there. Boom, and we get this super neato Creepy's Corner uh, record. We'll play that later. First, let's continue going down here. Oh man, I don't know what's down there, but it's pretty scary, I can tell you that much. Guess I better not leave the lights on. Nah. Gosh, that sounds like Richard Tom. Watch this door must open right into his there living room. Go. Good get out. Oh, can we go? No, we can't go. Oh, that'd be so cool, though. I mean, for real. Like, dude, that's a sesh. All on its own. Oh, what's... Oh, no! Okay, we're done. You know what? Let's go upstairs and listen to this amazing little record that we found. It'll be a hint for a late... Or a clue for later on. Do you mind if I listen to a record? Would it be okay if I played a record? Sure. Sweet. Oh, frick. Would it be okay if I played a record? Sure. Nancy, she just said sure. Let's put this here. Listen to this, guys. I'll never forget the night it all began. That dark, stormy, fateful night when I decided the time had come to rid the world of the creature. But it would take money to do that, and to get money, I needed to confront my arch enemy, Nick, who had recently become able to transform himself fittingly into a giant warthog. When his forest hideaway came into view, I dismounted and approached the door on foot so I could take him by surprise. I fear that he would hear me prove groundless, for a terrible storm began to rage, washing away the sound of my footsteps. I peered through the rain-streaked window beside his front door and could see him sitting in front of the fire. He had returned to human form, but the malicious smile on his face suggested that he was recalling his recent poor sign exploits. Seeing that the door was unlocked, I hurled it open and marched across the room toward him. Step away from that bottle of warthog potion, I commanded, and give me the 20 gold coins you stole from my poor servant. I'm not going to give you a thing, save perhaps 
a taste of my sword. And with that, he drew his sword. In an instant, I had drawn mine, and so commenced the fiercest sword fight the world had ever known. The storm raging outside paled in comparison to our battle. To my surprise, Nick's experiences as a lower life form seemed to have improved his skill as a swordsman. I fainted, I parried, and yet victory eluded me. And soon I began to feel my strength ebbing from me. I was tiring rapidly, summoning every ounce of what little energy remained in my body. I lunged at him one last desperate time. Ouch! Why, you've wounded me. I had managed to wound him on his right arm, just above the elbow. Curse you! His words punctuated as they were by an untimely clap of thunder, sent a shiver down my spine. Save your breath, I intoned, and give me those gold coins. Here, take your precious coins. He tossed the bag of coins onto a chair, but as I reached for them, he reached for his bottle of potion, and in a matter of seconds, my night had gone from bad to horrible. Wow, that was an amazing story. Want to hear it again? Let's not. Okay, so a dude went to go get some coins for his servant. And he did that, but then his arch enemy turned into a pig. What? Let's share our task list. Play the record. Check. And scramble the picture. Make sure I've seen Check. anything. Check. Find what happens. I'm finished with this. That. I haven't done that mirrors. yet. Okay. Can't check that off till it's done. Can't check that off. Can't check that off till it's done. Questions. Okay. So you know what? I'm just gonna go ahead. I don't know really how to find out what Josiah's favorite poet was, but I do know the answers to the uh, the wonderful carriage house over here. So we have Keen. I do believe the next one is. Oh shoot! You know, hold on. I don't really know what the next one is. Let's go find out. Go. Hello, Miss Drew. Hi, Mr. Topham. Hello. All right, let's open this elephant. You don't mind if I look around, do you? Go right ahead. Oh, why do you have to ask permission every time you walk in? Okay. Oh, it is the poet. Okay. Uh, back up. So, yeah, like I said, I have no idea where to find the actual poet dealio sort of thingio. Um, but I do know the answer. So... The answer is... So the first one was Keen. Second is Omar. The next one is... Pony, because that's what we win from playing miniature golf. And then the final one is Lois, because that is Gloria's middle name. There we go. All right, it is. Got a whole new location. Let's explore this place, man. All right, dude. So let's start right here and move our way down this way. That is fancy. It looks like Wallace and Gromit. Oh, what's that? Oh, my. Oh, this is Domino. This is easy. Okay, so I got a five here. Is there five? Five. Let's put that there. Oh, shoot. Oh, you can't just put it there. Okay. Five goes there. You need two. Let's take all these out, actually, because we can. So this two can go here. Uh, six can go here. Three can go there. 